I'm Bartholomew Beale. I've been a full-time artist for about 10 years now. This is my full-time job. As soon as I wake up, I um, just put on my messy clothes and go straight to the studio because I, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure that within that week I'll have come up with an interesting painting or an interesting study for a painting. Um, and that painting might be uh, some people's favourite painting. Yeah, there's so many, there's so many different colours I work with because I'm trying to inform the viewer with a sort of a sort of feeling to start it off. There's some really dramatic colours um, to work with the really dramatic figure I'm putting in them. What, what I'm trying to make are well eye catchers really and the the sort of paintings which can get people excited from the first view uh or when you see it in the corner of your eye you're going to glance because it's a bright bright color yeah trying to absorb people with a figure who might be uh really interesting a figure sort of telling a story quite often by accident you know this is why i use old men because it looks like they have you know, millions of stories in their history. The string, the string is a very basic effort, really, to pull a bit of questioning into the thing and trying to make people wonder through it. Is that, is that a bit of string? Uh, is that a fishing line? Just very basically something that people are going to have another thought about. Literature over the last decade, really, has uh, been such a big formative part of my paintings. You know, as I'm as I'm reading a certain line, there's images that pop up that can be immediately paintings. Um, my massive King Lear paintings, Seamus Heaney's poetry. I like to leave a blank, underdeveloped space where, you know, it could be so many places still. Um, or it could be nowhere at all, you know, maybe it's in a dream or something. I don't think there is a message I want to give. Um, I think what I want to do is provoke ideas from people who are seeing it, but I don't want to do anything more than that. I've got a few favourites which sort of uh, put the figure into a very indefinite place. There's a man with a, in, sitting on nothing in a dark space with lamps around his head. Um, and, you know, that is that had a very direct reference when I made it about six, seven, eight years ago, but uh, I'm not sure what that is now. Um, <laughs> there's, there's this painting right here, which uh, gets me very excited. You know, why has he got a red hat? Why is there a, why is there a book sitting on the floor? Um, why is he sitting in front of a big set of sort of semi-plants, you know? Um, and that's how... That's how I want it to be, just lots of whys, lots of questions. Occasionally I need to slap myself on the wrist and uh, persuade myself to come up with new ideas, new angles, um, and hopefully keep developing. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I've got anything else to say. Uh, no?